Come on in, hustlers, to the new movie. I'm coming in to. Come on, y'all. We're coming in. Come on in, y'all. Yes, yes, and yes, yes, yes. Y'all, come on, honey. My hustlers. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with me. This hood girl to the hood. Y'all, y'all see what's on this plate. Mm -hmm. We have meat sauce with uh, ground beef and uh, Zumo's uh, Andouille sausage. We have some yeast rolls and uh, we have uh, some salad over here. We'll talk about that. Y'all, so this is going to be really good. Uh, again, this is January. This is now scene two, take three. Oh my! Let's roll the tape, y'all. Come on in here. Bring your whatever you eating. We fit to do this today, and I'm hungry, y'all. My camera. I don't know. I better leave it alone, huh? Let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Thank you for the word that I heard today from my pastor. Thank you for loving us and keep us. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. This is Sunday. We go, we're getting ready to dive into next week, y'all. We don't know what's going to be on tomorrow. But today, let's be thankful. So, salut, salut. Let's sip this good, good cocktail, this hood stuff, y'all. Mm -hmm. I changed my drink today. Here, y'all. Cheers. That's good. So, y'all, I just made the... Uh, Cucumber, red onion, and tomato salad for the side. Y'all, so without ado, and I have something to show y'all. Uh, I got to get my hot sauce, y'all. What are y'all eating today? What are y'all eating right now with me? What's on your plate or in your bowl? A lot of people I saw, even my friends on Facebook, uh, it's soup weather. It really is soup weather. It is, y'all. It's like my chair's too low or something. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all, yesterday is gone. Today is new. I had a text yesterday about 8.30. I'm salivating y'all because I'm ready for this. And uh, I'm going to give y'all a bite first. Uh, it was from my current boss. I, I got a feeling it's going to fall. Yum, yum. Give me some. Take that bite, y'all. It's hot, so got to blow. It was from my current boss, and it was a text. <laughs> That said, Monday starting tomorrow, you know, because I'm supposed to be on the New York project on the 11th, which is tomorrow. I guess that's not going to be because she said we'll be on uh, the Providence team where I, I was going anyway. It's amazing, y'all, politics in the office. You know, thank God for jobs, but it's amazing that they can do whatever they want to do to you. But, you know, we can't complain. It is a job. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh. Man, that sauce is uh, delicious. Mm. Them sausages are good. Zumo. I love when they go on sale. Because they're a little expensive. But they was on sale. Not a lot, but I wanted them in my in my spaghetti sauce, y'all. I had a calm day today after church. Y'all, these are so good. 
That's Sister Sherbert's yeast rolls. They are so good. Mm. I must be hungry, y'all. Yeah, y'all know. Uh, I'm following my van life people and RV life people. That's a lot of work I'm going to have to do, y'all. I'm learning all of it. Trying to anyway. You know, your black water, the gray water got to be dumped. Um, got a campground site, they say, so I'm going to have to learn how to do that. At 66 and a half or 62 and a half, whatever, whenever I do it. I'm not going to be, do, do I want to do that? Or, um, is there somebody on the campground that you can pay to do it for you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And... Mm. It costs uh, between thirty and fifty dollars to dump your stuff as well. And then you got to fill your water tank back up. But they say if it's just two people, uh, they the three people that was in the RV, they say they have to do it every three days. But they say for two people you don't. So I'm gonna have to learn some stuff first, y'all. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can meet some uh, RV people. Well, in Trail Ride Nation, a lot of people have an RV. And, you know, they know because, you know, we go on the campgrounds as well, y'all. Mm-hmm. But that's when somebody is somebody else's RV. You just put your money in. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is a good, a good simple meal. It's just good and simple. I mean, really, and good. Here you go. This salad is refreshing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Have y'all ever talked to somebody, family member or friend, and then they make the whole story, if you're trying to talk about them, or they think they know every damn thing? I wish I had some cheese. But I thought I had some. I always try to keep cheese. I got the cube cheese. I just didn't have no shredded cheese. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You know, who don't like Spaghetti. Even a, even a, a child loves spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Y'all, uh, Dave and them was coming home today from uh, Louisiana, and he uh, called me and said they was going through snow, y'all. And then... Some people that I know in Frisco and in Dallas, um, they posted pictures on Facebook with the snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can y'all let the ones who, the people like me who never had to live in snow, would you move somewhere where it's snowing?
For me, that's a no. Because I think you have to learn how to drive in that snow. You got to get snow tires, I believe. And then you don't know what year it's going to snow more than last. And you have to dig yourself out of your driveway. Mm-mm. 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 I don't want to do that. I know here in the south in Texas where I am, we complain a lot of times because it's so hot. We don't have the seasons. We have two seasons. Well, I'll tell you what we have. We have a long summers. We have a small fall. And we may have in the winter months, We might have seven really cold days. Really cold days. That may, you know, develop icicles or, you know, uh, the grass covered with a little hard ice. That's the most we get here. But it really doesn't last long at all. So I had, I had to text David and ask him, did y'all make it home? He said, no, ma'am, we are an hour away because it's been raining all the way and we moving really slow. I was glad to hear that because, you know, these young people, they get behind the wheel of a car and think they uh, speed race at somebody. I was glad to hear that. I read that in the text, that is. I said, well, one hour away, baby, continue to be safe. He said, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is good. Really is. I love how y'all y'all see I've been eating pasta for the last five days. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got that box of pasta in that pan over there, so I'll be eating it for at least three days. Hey, some of y'all in my age group and in my in, in in my generation in the South, I can say in the South. When your mama or your grandmother or even an auntie, they made the spaghetti, they put everything in the same pan. They mixed the meat with the spaghetti. I hate that. <laughs> I like to put my meat sauce over my spaghetti individually. Because what I've done over the years is if we ran out of spaghetti and we had a, a lot of meat sauce left, there you go, a pan of rice. You put that meat sauce over that rice. <laughs> That's a Bible skills too, y'all. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um... I did this yesterday. Normally, it come at the end, but it's still obviously my trademark. So, yeah, we're going to see if it's going to come into the end at belt, y'all. Mm. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Those of you who still here. In 2020... I want y'all to comment below. What did you learn when everything shut down? Or did you learn anything? Share with us. Carl, what I believe reading my Bible, especially in Revelation, I think God shut us down to get our attention. Mm-hmm. And as you know, as sad as I want to say this, 
some people did not halt. They were still trying to do them. Mm -hmm. What I've done, because I've been single and I love being single and I'm happy being single because I love me. A lot of days I didn't cut on, on my uh, on my TV or the radio and, and, and shut down my phone as well, just to meditate. I learned how to do a movie night, or I learned how just to be still and try to hear what the Word of God says, you know, every time I ask Him to speak to me, you know? Because He shut us down for a reason. Mm-hmm. And this season is not over yet. Everything is timed. My pastor said this to us today. About the people. Who we allow in our space. You know one thing y'all heard me say a, a million times. Be careful who you allow in your private space. Because everybody is not about you. Okay, but the pastor said today, how much time I got? Oh, I got one minute, y'all. He said there's different elements of people. You got glass people, you got plastic people, you got ceramic people, and you have thermal people. I wish I had a long time to tell y'all what he said. Who are the glass people? Who are the ceramic people? Who are the plastic people? Or who are the thermal people? Uh, I got one minute. The glass people, he's saying, they're breakable. And if they break, they're going to cut you. They see through. Okay? He said the plastic cup is toxic. If you leave, he said, if you leave a drink in, the, in a plastic cup, the toxins start coming out. You got to let them go. It's too toxic for you. Everything they say is negative. Even when it's good, they're going to find some negative in it. Everything is negative. We all got those kind of friends. We all do. One thing I also learned because I've had friends and I've lost friends and I'm glad about it. Because sometimes in my life, I tried to keep people longer than it, it, they were supposed to stay. So I learned how to let people go. And I'm okay with it. Because one thing I learned on my journey is the how y'all go, I cannot bring everybody with me. You just can't. You can't do it, y'all. So, y'all, that's our time. And uh, y'all see, I killed my plate. I only got a little bit, y'all. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to finish. I may not finish that salad, though, y'all, or that other piece of bread. But, y'all, for real, you know, examine who you have in your space. If it's not good for you, let it go, you know? Just sing ourselves out. Oh, I got something to show y'all. And I put it up here so I wouldn't forget. And yesterday I did it, but I forgot. So... Look what I found at the liquor store. Do y'all know about Veal Vodka? I've tasted a few of them in here, but there's a couple in here that I, I never tasted. So I'm going to create some uh, shots or uh, not a drink because it's not a much for a drink, but a cocktail. So I'm going to figure what I'm going to do with this, y'all. i got so many flavors in there. So I'm excited about that. So, look at that thing I said, Father, I love y'all. Thank you for sticking and staying. Mm -hmm. I hope this new year brings you something that you have always desired, you know? Yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> it's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So, whatever y'all do for the rest of this day, please do it with genuine love, care, purpose. And genuine love. So, 
Cheers. Bye-bye.